The Coley Peak viewpoint lies along the Cotswold Way and is a great place for a picnic. It overlooks the Severn Valley with stunning views across the River Severn to the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains of Wales in the distance. It's very popular with picnickers, dog walkers and ramblers. Coley Peak is also the location of the Nymphsfield Neolithic Long Barrow. A long barrow is a burial chamber and this one was constructed in about 3800 BC during the Neolithic period. There would have been a courtyard type area at the entrance which would have been used for ceremonies before the dead were placed within the stone structure. Through the entrance is a corridor, the head of which is guarded by two standing stones which provide access to the burial chambers. There are three chambers which are laid out in a cruciform plan. The walls of these chambers are made from limestone, which was known at the time as Ulite, and it was probably quarried in the area. The barrow would have had a stone roof and been defined by a dry stone wall, but these have been lost over time. During the excavation, the remains of 13 Neolithic skeletons were found here. Also found buried here were the remains of an infant, which was buried in a stone cyst, which is a type of cask that would have been used in the Neolithic period. The presence of a long barrow here shows the importance of the area around Coley Peak as a meeting place and as a burial site. In 1862, when this was first excavated, they found lots and lots of Neolithic pottery right here by the entrance. The way it was walled up suggests that not only has this long barrow been um, made and used by Neolithic man, but that it was also sealed up before the end of the Neolithic period. There are many mysteries surrounding this long barrow and myths too, and one of them was that it was used as a hiding place for lepers. The Nymphsfield Barrow is one of about 150 scattered across the Cotswold Hills from Oxfordshire to Somerset. Quick trip around Nipsfield Neolithic Long Barrow. See you next time.